Hello, my name is Ted. I am a repair technician for Whole Latte Love, and we're doing a video on how to replace the fuse, check and replace the fuses on the Lavaza Point. Um, What's the symptoms that might indicate you need to do this? Yes, if your machine is not powering on, um, it's usually a big indicator that your fuses are shot, uh, and it's easy to change and check. Okay. Uh, and if this works, then your machine should work afterwards. Great. All right, what so we basically we're gonna turn the machine around Mm -hmm. You're unplugged, no water, whatever. Make sure mm -hmm. you don't spill any water if you do have any in it. We're literally just going to turn the machine around so it's facing you. Mm -hmm. And right here next to your plug where your cord would go in mm -hmm. uh, is this little black box looking thing right next to it. This is the fuse holder and it's okay. got a little arm on each side of this thing that you can kind of grab with your fingers and pull back. Okay. If you can't get it with your fingers, just get something with a little flat blade on it and kind of pry forward until it pops forward. Afterwards, it's got a little door that you can swing open. You can see the two fuses in the machine. Usually if you have no power, it's only one fuse that's gone bad. If you want, you can replace both of them just to make sure. At this point, we need to pop them out and check them or, and or replace them. Okay. Um, you literally just need some kind of small tool, anything that's small enough to get into the openings on the back side of this fuse holder right here. There's two openings, one here and one here for the fuse okay. on the back side. So I literally, I'm going to push and have your finger over on this side and I'm gonna push the fuse forward until it pops out. Okay. Okay. And now I can pull the fuse out and most people know that if you look at your fuse, that little filament on the inside will be broken. Yep, and that it, one's good. This one is good. Um, if it's broken, of course it's bad. Or if you have like a burnt area, Mm -hmm. um, it's like the Christmas bulbs when they go bad and they have like a little dark spot around the glass. That means it's no good. Okay. So in that case, you would just replace the fuse, which you can get from our website. Um, you might be able to take these into a Radio Shack or something else that might be able to, to hook you up with hook them up with the replacement fuse. And you're going to do the same thing with the other fuse. You're going to poke it from the back side, get it to pop out so you can pull it out, look at it, check it, make sure it's good or not good. Mm -hmm. um, or, like I said, you can replace both of them. Just pop them both out and put two new ones in and you should be good to go. Now you're going to put them back in. You're just going to go in on an angle in the opening and then kind of slide it back. And then once you get it in there, you're going to just push it in with your finger. Okay. It's going to go into its holder. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the other one. You're going to fold this door closed. It doesn't want to <laughs> stay closed for some reason, but we'll just hold it closed for now. Okay. And then we're just going to slide it in and push it back in there. Great. That's all you gotta do to change your fuses on the low Laza point. That should get your machine going. Um, most of the time I've worked on a lot of these and that's usually the issue with no power. All right, Ted, thanks a lot for taking us through that. All right, no problem. Wanna learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.